Opposed? Motion carries. Second item is plan 20-0434, Ascend Construction, representing the business owner, request for a site plan review to construct an optical building at 3341 A Street South, parcel ID 3413414. I'll start by saying uh, that there is a new landscaping plan and I wanna make sure everyone, all members have a copy of that plan or at least have it electronically. Does everyone here have a copy? Yep. Okay, uh, I will be touching upon that shortly. Basically, we have a request for site plan review and architectural review as well, of a, as, well as a plan of operation review for a uh, optical clinic located at the subject parcel on 8th Street. The building is about 6,000 square feet, has 36 parking stalls on site. I think it might actually be 37. Um, it's zone B2 commercial district and a health care clinic is permitted within the B2 district. Again, the site plan and architectural review is required via the zoning code. With that being said, in the staff memo, uh, put together a pretty thorough review, identifying um, a few things that I do want to mention. Uh, I also want to clarify that there is a second tenant suite within the facility that's about 2,000 square feet. So the medical clinic is only going to be uh, within about 4,000 square feet of the facility. From a dimensional standpoint, uh, everything is appropriate with regards to the building coverage ratio, the setbacks, uh, impervious surface calculations. With regards to the ingress egress, they'll be accessing the property off of 8th Street as well as Cook Avenue uh, via existing, um, existing driveways. And I don't think there should be a concern with any ingress egress or traffic flow throughout the site. The one thing I do want to mention is uh, the parking exceeds the maximum amount within the front yard. So the zoning code regulates, um, I believe it's 35% of the total stalls which can be allowed within the front of the building. And they have, uh, I believe it's 19 stalls within the front of the building which is above 50%. The zoning code further allows the plan commission to grant the approval of 50% of the parking to be located within the front of the building but for that to have happened or to happen, I believe one stall would have to either be omitted from the front and relocated to the back or just admitted, omitted entirely from the site to meet that 50% ratio. And then this body, the plan commission needs to act in approving 50%. And I would strongly recommend doing so uh, due to the fact that there are, it's a multi-tenant building. They'll likely be putting their employees in the back and then obviously saving, saving room up front. They've also got three handicap stalls up front. And I think in luring another tenant to the facility, there's a, a great benefit to have additional parking up front. So I think it also uh, separates the site quite nicely, having about half the parking up front and half in the back and uh, utilizes uh, both driveways efficiently as well. Landscaping initially was a little bit short with regards to the point ratios that's required. However, on the new landscaping plan, they do now meet the point ratios. Uh, there's, uh, I believe it's 362 points that are being proposed and the requirement is 339. So they are above the point tally for the landscaping. The, uh, I do wanna mention that the buffer yard to the south is not included in the landscaping and it's not supposed to be uh, in terms of the buffer point calculations. Uh, I am, however, recommending on page one of the staff memo, the buffer yard be uh, expanded to the east to cover kind of the, the entirety of the, the parking area there. It looks like it falls a little bit short. Along with that, I am also uh, recommending a few other conditions. Um, again, they've met one of the conditions with regards to an updated landscaping plan, but. I still think uh, we'd want to see a new site plan showing that the parking lot is uh, meeting the 50% ratio up front as well as the extended buffer yard. Uh, the applicant shall uh, also submit uh, a refuse uh, enclosure made of brick, textured concrete, or masonry units. I believe they have proposed a chain link version and the zoning code uh, requires brick or concrete or other masonry units. So. 
we would ask that they submit a new rendering for that approved by the community development department they also have not yet submitted a lighting plan so we added that as a condition of approval they don't yet have an electrical contractor on board for the project and at such point they would likely then submit the uh, the lighting plan which again would have to meet the zoning code uh, recommendations and requirements and then lastly uh, I would recommend just allowing staff to approve those minor changes again approving an updated site plan reflective of the uh, the changes to landscaping as well as to the parking up front and that's it any questions commission I will note also that the applicant uh, and business owner I believe are here as well if you have any questions for them or if they'd like to add anything would you like to add anything further Sure. Yep, I'll uh, just hit the, uh, the button there to make sure it's green. Evening, gentlemen. Uh, Ron Adamski with Ascent Construction. The only thing that I want to ask Kyle real quick is uh, I believe that a wood facade was okay on the dumpster enclosure. And just to clarify that, that's all. Yes, okay. wood would be permitted, correct. Okay. Perfect. That's That'd be the only clarification. And then... Um, Otherwise, I think you've pretty much touched on everything that we discussed previously. So. Commissioners, any questions? Hearing none, I'd entertain a motion. I'll make a motion to accept the plan as presented. We have a motion by Mr. Tao. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Hansen to approve the plan and the conditions set forth that apparently both parties are agreeable upon. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion. Abstain. Um, sounds good. We have motion carries with uh, Mr. Bray abstaining. Uh, let me get back to my agenda. Seeing nothing further, item number three is adjournment. Motion. Motion to adjourn. A motion by Mr. Tao. A second. I'll second it. <laughs> so we have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, and opposed? Thank you very much. <laughs>